Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to try if we can find better ammunition than the trusted toilet brush. <laughs> That's going to be tough. So here is the Challenger. It's made from a stainless steel tube and in the front there is a piece of a massive 12 millimeter steel rod and the hook is also like a broad head. It's a piece of a flat steel piece and it's sharpened. So the front is sharp, but the back side is rounded so that the loops from the rubber bands can hook into it. But if you look at the profile from the front, it's all sharp and pointed. So once it enters tissue, it, it supposedly can just fly through. And even the loop offers no resistance. Whereas the toilet brush has a huge amount of resistance after the end of the nail. And then of course there's the huge brush head, which won't really easily penetrate. Let's test it. Both projectiles weigh about the same. This one weighs about 130 grams and this one weighs about 139 grams. First we're shooting into this fairly new, fairly thick archery mat and both projectiles will probably not penetrate to the hilt but let's see how deep they will go in. This is the weapon, the toilet brush sniper rifle. <laughs> so it went in but it was stopped by the thick head so we can still see the hook. So let's see if we can shoot the other arrow a little bit to the right so we can compare how deep the two are going in. All right, we can clearly see that this one went in a lot deeper than the toilet brush. Let's pull them out. Okay. That's hard. <clears throat> it's always works like <clears throat> it's nasty hooks. So this one went in really deep the winner of the archery mat test. Second test, wooden board, 20 millimeter thickness. Okay, so this wooden board is harder than I thought. The toilet brush finally gave up and broke and the nail went in and it didn't penetrate. See, it did not come out at the back. Pretty tough board. Let's see how the steel arrow performs. First of all, the steel arrow did not break off <laughs> and then it penetrated. See, there's a good amount of steel poking out and it's a massive penetration. So if you put it out, you can see that it was rather effective. So one more time, it is the winner. Now we want to find out if we can tickle the dragon. <laughs> Here's our artificial dragon scale. Let's see, I wanted to pry out the SOG spirit knife that was the tip of the spear, but I couldn't. I really tried. It's still in there. I think I probably have to saw the board apart to get it out. Anyway, let's see how the ammo fares against this thing. Okay, one millimeter stainless steel and one half inch plywood. This time the projectile held and the nail went in and it pokes out, I would say, an inch and a half from the backside. Went in solid and we have about the same penetration, but of course, since the projectile is bigger, I think the hole is just thicker, see? We compare the diameter of the wound. 
This one is certainly more devastating than this one. So I think it's a close race, but this one is the winner. Same weight, but more effective. And I think specifically against soft tissue. So against like, I don't know, <laughs> a bull elephant. <laughs> this, was, this would definitely be the more effective projectile. Well, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye.